My name is Abby from Optima Communications. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to create a conference bridge using the Avaya IP Office Voicemail Pro Client software as well as the Manager software. Stay tuned. Today we're going to be learning how to build a conference bridge. The first thing you need to do is load the Manager software. If you already have that loaded, I want you to click on shortcode. Here we're going to create the shortcode for the conference bridge. So we're going to right click, click on new. Now you really have to filter through your shortcodes in order to come up with the right code for your conference bridge. So for an example, I'm going to use 776. We're going to be changing this feature from dial to conference meet me. Next, the telephone number is going to match the code in this case. And we're going to click OK. Now we're going to build another short code, but this short code is going to be to the conference bridge. So we're going to right click, click on new. And for an example, I'm going to use star 63. In this case, the feature is going to remain dialed, but the telephone number is going to be the same as the conference bridge which was, in my case, 776. I'm going to hit OK. Now this is an offline configuration, so it's not an active system. With that being said, the next step for you, you will have to go to File and save the configuration. Once you save that, I want you to move over to your Voicemail Pro client software, which is also an offline configuration in my case. When you load this up, you may see a whole bunch of different modules here that you already have currently built out within your phone system and your voicemail. Well, we're going to add a conference bridge module. So we're going to right click on modules, click on add, and we're going to name it. Now you can name it whatever you wish, but I like to just keep track of everything that's going on within my phone system. So I'm going to name it Conference Bridge. All right. Next, I want you to click in the module field. And I want you to notice that if you hover over the icons, they give you a description of what they do. In this case, we're going to look for telephony actions. We're going to click on that, scroll down, and we're going to click on transfer. Now, we're going to click in the same field, you see the start point. Wherever the start point is displayed within the conference bridge module, you're going to click in that field. That's going to drop the transfer menu. Next, we need to connect the start point to the transfer menu. So we're going to click, hold, and drag this line to the menu, and then release the click. You know you did it correctly when it draws a line from the start point to the transfer. Then I want you to double click on the transfer. Once again, I like to just name these things. That way I know exactly what's going on. In this field, you'll be able to enter a pen number. I'm going to use a pen number of 1234. The pin number only applies to callers outside of the office, but basically callers dialing in to the conference bridge. Then I want you to click on specific. This is the most important part. Your destination has to be the conference bridge number you just created in the manager software. In my case, I used 776. In your case, you have to use the same number you built within the manager software. But then click OK. Now, we're going to save and make live. And then you can save it in two places. You can save it here and make it live, or you can go to file, scroll down, and save and make live here. What I mean by internally is you can pick up the phone, hit your intercom button, and then the conference bridge number, and anyone who wishes to join that bridge joins that bridge. If you want a telephone number assigned to it, you have to have a direct number. 
a DID block, a PRI circuit, T1, or SIP. Now, if that's the case, then let's go back to the manager software. We're going to go to incoming core route. In your incoming core route, you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, numbers built out in your incoming core route. The only thing you need to do is you need to select the number you wish, click on it, go to the right column, click on destinations, and change your destination from whatever it is to the short code that we built out to the conference bridge. So in my case, I had used star six three. Hit OK. Go to File, save your configuration, merge it, and you can start using that telephone number as a conference bridge number. Now, that pin number is where this comes in play. If you give this number out, you have to give the pin number out. All right, that wraps up today's tutorial. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment. You can also reach us by dialing 1-800-270-9204 and someone will be more than happy to assist you. Till next time.